what have they told you in terms of uh, how fast they want to get you back from the knee injury and, and how it's coming along? Uh, it's more about um, what the doctors tell me, you know, as in like um, whenever the doctor tell me I can go out there on the field and practice and um, whenever they say I will be ready. And, and right now for this weekend, are you just mainly observing and going through the uh, playbook and meetings and stuff? Yes, I'm doing that. And when, whenever the trainer says I can practice, that's where I will participate in practice and things like that. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. I don't know if you can ask the question. Are you expecting to be able to uh, be ready for training camp? Whenever the doctors tell me to be ready, that's when, we'll, that's when I'll be ready. Um, when they say you're ready to go, um, that's when I know. You feeling pretty good? Yeah, I feel really good. Is um, what, what kind of drills are you able to do now? Are you you able to cut or are you just running straight ahead? Or? Depending on what um, the trainers tell me when, we, when I start you know, doing stuff on Monday, whatever they can say I can do and let me know what I can lead up to doing things like that, that's when I know. What have you learned about this team in the short time since they drafted you? Great program. You know, everybody's about business. Everybody come out here and work hard, get things done. And um, great group of guys to be around. Everybody like combined, a lot of team chemistry and just guys knowing each other and feel comfortable around each other. What kind of message did uh, Coach Harbaugh have for you guys when he first brought you together? Um, just come in, work hard, leave it all out on the field. Things like that. Anything about the Super Bowl? Uh, no, nah, not anything. Jake, there was talk about after the draft about you getting kind of even more bulked up and you know putting on you know more muscle, kind of like Justin Smith and Ray McDonald have done during their careers. Has that process already started? Have they talked about you know your conditioning program and things like that, or, or not yet? Yeah, I mean, they talked about it. It's more like something like that will come along as I, like, I get through the season and just getting ready, just getting back healthy and things like that. That'll come along. Jake, what kind of help can you give a guy like Lawrence who's never really played a game before, you know, coming in a similar position that you're going to be playing? Can uh, he come to you for advice or anything? Uh, we we kind of, like, sit there and talk and, like, like, talk about the plays and things like that and just make sure, like, we both understand it as well. But at the same time, he's trying to learn it, and I kind of, like, you know, been playing football, so I know a little bit more. But uh, we just go do it, do it as a team, and um, we all do it together. I get the advice I give him is just work hard, man. You know, um, be coachable, just do the right thing, be a great player. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for you um, this rookie season? Um, just make, making sure, um, making sure I'm healthy, and um, just going out there, um, being just always and like being a great guy, and um, just everything. Not really, not really too much of that. But just more like um, show them off what are I can you, do. Are you anxious to get out there and show them what you can do? Yeah, I'm very anxious, you know, because um, I was also coming off an injury, and um, he want to know will he really be back or what will, will really go on. But um, just being out there and having the opportunity to show them. Were you having doubts last November when you tore your ACL, whether you be at this point? I didn't have no doubts, you know, because I knew um, I knew I had a hard work out there. I knew that things like that would come along. I mean, I've seen guys get hurt all the time. Some of them come back, some of them don't. But I just believe in myself. I believe in God, and I knew in my hard work, I'll be able to come back with no issues. A couple more guys. Thank you. What have been your impressions of Lawrence and Koya? Lawrence, Lawrence and Koya, that British discus thrower. Um, have you had any initial impressions of him? Um, um, just a guy, real nice guy. You know, um, guy that that believes, and um, you tell he works really hard. You know. Um, try to stay focused on things he like to do, and um, just um, accent, you know, learning different things, how they did things over there in London, and things like that. Do you understand? I mean, you know, British people have different ways of saying. Can you understand what he's saying? Yeah, I understand what he's saying because um, I had a teammate that's from England um, that went to Florida State with Melanin, so um, I kind of like pick up accents. So I, I had no problem talking to him at all.